Hello there, I'm Red Eidolon, the anomaly from Switzerland, and well, this afternoon we are back with Life is Strange. And currently we are searching for clues what happened to Rachel Amber. And to be honest, I have prepared myself a little bit, so that's also why I needed a bit more time, because I had to find it in the internet. Because I still can remember the last time that um, I played this, I was... I had about an hour and I didn't know what to do and then I just googled it and then I had it in like two minutes so you know I will just do it like that again because otherwise I just I'm just too dumb for this okay so let's just continue yep exactly because of this clue board here I had no clue how to, how to do this, so I hope um, this time will be faster. <clears throat> yep, we saw this already in um, in the last thing. That um, well, now the story is fixed again. You know. Yep. 
Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm yeah, just, it's just happening. I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. Yep. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. <laughs> Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. No, well, I don't know where she was. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back so. to the real world, Max. Yep. Okay. Yep, this board. Let's look because... at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. No, no, that was, that was, that was, that was good. That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. Mm. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. No. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Miss Price, this is Officer Anderson Barry and since we have your contact info on file here, we'd like you to come by the station on Monday morning at approximately 8 am to answer a few questions about any information you may have regarding any recent break in Brackwell Academy and the fact that your car was identified in the parking lot around the same time. We look forward to clearing this up. Officer Barry ABPD, which means Arcadia Bay Police Department, I guess. Wallet. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Yeah, it was, this was a really long time ago. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. Yeah, but he would have used it for other yes, stuff. Yes, so Chloe whatever. Price was here. So many, so many cigarettes. Oh, let's take a photo. Yes. <laughs> I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Well, why not tell her? Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. <laughs> yeah, coffee is good. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. True. By the way, the series Sherlock in um, on Netflix. Please watch it. Like, like I watched it, and dude, one of the best series I've ever watched. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Oh really? The Great Northwest, the Prescott's Pan Estates, Heaven, Haven or Hell by Craig Kennedy. The name Prescott may not mean much to you that I was outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once home, a prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has been has seen much better pay days. Despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the others. Environmental changes the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Although the press cards have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, the, 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 the development citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Yep. Just leave, just leave the Indian native people alone, man. That's my Chloe. The bad girls got the guns. Like, coffee Greer. So, the board. Yep. But we still need some more clues. We don't have that much. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Frank? Right. Uh, what things? The Frank yeah, stuff? Decipher Frank's logbook. Yeah. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and oh, Rachel. Okay. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three beats step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. And I do have a gun now. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Yep. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't <laughs> waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. 
I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. Mm -hmm. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Okay. Let's go to the garage. I... I'm sorry. Didn't know she was oh, no. going to say something. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Yeah, right. Where is he? Uh, on. Bird. Scare. Get away. Yes. Okay. Um. I guess I can. Oh, Since I can't. David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Oh shit! Oh shit! Poor thing. I think just died immediately. Dude, let's open it. Get out, bluebird. I actually, never Why? seen bluebird. No way they have. Yes, we have bluebirds, but they're not like completely blue. They also have brown and green in them. Okay, let's close it. So, we saved the bird. Let's go down. Because we need to go into the garage. <laughs> My dog is just snoring down here. <laughs> uh oh. Is he leaving? Oh. He won this battle, Max. He broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Oof. I'm sorry. Like, I know that he's secretly, like, more or less a good guy, but still. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Hmm. Oh. Sadly, we don't have stuff like this at home. Warren. Oh, he's riding so fast again. Uh, uh, uh. Um, there. B fucking minus. I got a B minus on my, on my chemistry test. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? Ouch. Warren the wounded. To be mine as it burns. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. This case, yes. My folks will shit. Yo, yo, Max. Your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have a number. Now I get why you didn't want to go away with me. You should go with Chloe. She looks cool enough for you. I have a lot of cool friends f like you. Yes, you do. It's just my luck. And mine, I have to jet. TTYL, whatever that means again. I hope so. Oh, damn. Dead. Dead? Um. Um, when was this? Um, so I already read that one. Hey, Anna just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching Anna's and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a blocked number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some jackers in my class thought it would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither, sorry. Just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Aww. Dude, why are so many people riding all of a sudden? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we read that one. When was this? Um... Ah, hey man, I suck again. Sorry I got you in your face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out of the window and busted out and busted out my rewind. Okay, this is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all-nighter. You have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO, like so, like so, and that was no emoji. <laughs> Dude, why is she so against emojis? Come on. That's so great. Juliet. Um, 
Hey Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me what's going down. Is that everything? I was just, just curious if I've heard of a guy named Frank who lives now in around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy method. That's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from an ace. Report to Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> wow. Justin. Uh, there. Hey, Justin, you busy? Max Wax. I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it? Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Mom? Um. Uh, Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. Oh well. No comment. <laughs> I've kept Lysa alive though, uh, through all this, so we're still safe. As long as we're around. Now back to the books. Talk soon. Next for Maxo. That's amazing. Kate! Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Max, thank you from, from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school, the only one I truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me help. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You always been our prayers, love, and blessings to friend Kate. Hey, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, promise. Uh, Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you. And my bunny. We all miss you. And your bunny misses you. Yay, you're such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. Exo Maxo. <laughs> I just love it. This Exo Maxo stuff. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Well, I mean, sometimes to get disorientated. Um, because of a shallow, shallow harbor, or sometimes also because they get confused because of the magnetosphere, you know. So there are Ouch. actually many reasons. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. Choice price. Ooh. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Travel money. Oh. Okay, I could sit here. Graffiti is still there. No, My it's not. My butterfly sketch oh. doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Oof. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Arcadia Bay Beacon. Eco apocalypse now? What Arcadia Bay was until now. Considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook. Nook? Nook? On the Oregon coast, the town, the time forgot is since the beginning of this week in the little eye of an, env an environmental storm starting with a freak snowfall and an unprecedented eclipse dying birds now a half dozen beached whales arcadia bay is strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists apparently including nasa what's even more incredible that these eco phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or have or even reason for this atmospheric havoc continued on next page but there is no next page oh well okay um oh. did i actually cause that clock to stop oh that would actually be kind of creepy um there's a photo joyce must be so upset are you helping anybody max I mean, you help them for for a long term, you know, not on short term, but long term. No. Looks like David already booked a room. The Block Hotel reservation six hundred and thirty-eight. Okay, the garage is just open. What the fuck? Okay. Um, is something out here? Even more dead birds. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Nope. What is? William never finished painting that wall. Oh. Do, do you know how long it takes to paint a house? Holy shit. William had some commitment to it. What is this? Bang. Bango. 
1999 to 2008. Was this a dog or a cat? Never heard about this before. Hmm. Do we have something here? No. Mm, no. Okay. Let's go back inside. Will she say something though when I um, sit on here? Will she? Somehow I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. Well, you basically killed Chloe. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. What a play effect. Now you can't really Max predict Scott the future in when you change something. Or maybe three different realities. Yep. How can I have a destiny? Well, you have to decide for one. If these alternate lives exist. I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. Mm hmm. Hi. Thinking about all these Bye. lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. True story, Max. Don't you want to eat these? Oh, someone probably. Nah, it seems like it was cut by a knife, so you could still eat it. If you're hungry. So. Okay. Let's go in here. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Oh boy. It sounds for clues. Note. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Masson, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best Sean Prescott. Damn, okay. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. I guess he's armed. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. Oof. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Yeah, that's the thing. She can only like talk about the stuff that she she had, but not but no one else can see it. Well, There's except more to us, David but, Madsen you know. than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce. Um oh god, you can't really read this. Um Yeah. One second. Um, I was not prepared to do this. <laughs> so, um, Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that some that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I was stepped on the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay. I've never told you. You are my wife and partner. And then no, we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. He kicked me out of my favorite home and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Okay, damn. <sighs> There's a map. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Oh, damn. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite a rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block the campus surveillance system, I'm still interested in your feedback on other methods on, on improving Blackwell security. Must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students, best principal welds. And uh, to be honest, there are never surveillance camps in Switzerland at schools. Never. There are just none. We don't do this. Like, I know, um, for instance, in London, there are even uh, security cameras in toilets. Like, what oh, the Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this su su suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Mrs. At least Grant. he has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you and the school is too many lip-tart metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my door when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. Our people come back to Blackwell and make sure 
We are all safe at night. I'm scared of the school. From Anonymous. Who was that? Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset for losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a can't at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen David. Hmm. Did we watch these ones? I wonder if David is going to the party. No, surely not. End of the world party. Okay. Rice cereal. Dude, so much rice. And there is the other door. Oh, what? What? What can we? Oh. Oh! Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take. Excuse Aww. me. Just one picture, please. Oh. Let's make a photo. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Can we move series. it back now? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Yep. Um, we have here a locker. Is there anything else? No. Okay. Florida. Welcome to Florida, the Sunshine State. By the way, the thing I love about uh, the U.S. is um, when you are from a certain state, then you have like these these cool number plates. You know, like you can put this one at the back of your car, and it really looks amazing. But I can't really do that in other countries. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? <laughs> oh God. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Um, I have no clue what code this could be. Crowbar. Do I really want to break this stuff? I mean, it's not really that smart, is it? Wait. I'm googling it, okay? So, it's the... Padlock and the... Life is strange. Padlock... Code garage. What is the code? Okay, it's 7171. But why is it 7171? I want to find this. Okay. I don't know. But it's uh, 7171. No clue from where this is. Seven one seven one. Oh yes. Yeah. I knew that number would be important. Look, it's just difficult, like when you only play the game like once a week to remember all the numbers, oh, like what the hell? Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh yes. <laughs> That's like jackpot for her. Blackwell Academy, poor parking. Uh -huh. Kate Marsh, you know something. Lol. By the way, um, Chloe's um, car um, on the front, the number plate is TWNPKS, which I had the theory that it stands for Twin Peaks, and then I googled it, and it actually is Twin Peaks. It was a series in the in the eighties, or was it in the nineties? No, late eighties. Yep, it was a series in the late eighties. I watched it; was really good. Although it's old, but it's still really good. Um. Oh, it took it just took a photo of this. What pay, pay, pay up? What? Okay. Good. Score. Back to Chloe now. See? So we didn't need the um the crowbar. Which was really good. 
Like imagine if we used it, then David knows that someone has it's amazing broken how much into drama it. this living room has seen. Yeah. Same goes for the living room. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready house. yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. <laughs> now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. Yep. I want to find out how she's doing. Dude, Chloe didn't look too happy. <laughs> let's go. Let's see how Kate is doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I yep. hear you. Me too. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Aww. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this is so wholesome. Oh, Thanks, my. Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Yeah. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. So, let's go in, Max. Yeah. Hey, Kate. Oh. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry, Kate. Listen well, why was she in, she in hospital you after her suicide attempt? You have to be sorry about. Other people why? do. I... You do not know how happy I am to see you. Don't really you look that. awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. Aww. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see Actually, all the letters and Actually, not that many. I'm sorry. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Oh. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. <laughs> oh. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are oh, okay. they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. No. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. No. But to be honest, I um, when she was trying to jump down, Victoria was there with her phone, but afterwards she went crying to to Nathan. So I don't know. It's weird. Like 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 on one side she wanted to to take a video on how she kills herself, but on the other side she was well really troubled that she wanted to kill herself. Like what, dude? It's just weird. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Oh. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, 
I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackpool Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor. And I've never seen such outpouring of, ac of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little, given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. Yeah, he's still kind of a good guy, but on the other side, he isn't. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Well, of course not Nathan. Nathan is an idiot. Stella, Justin, Hayden, River, Evan, Daniel, Max, uh, Zach, Luke, Warren. There's a thing I can't read. Uh, Victoria, we love you, Kate, Blackwood Academy, Trevor, Alyssa, Rory. Uh -huh. Wait. That is so sweet. Uh -huh. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, I know you hate me, and you should, but I only want to see your smile, your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything, XL Vic. Aww. Uh, Aww. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I do believe this is sincere. What she meant. Mini makes sense. Really makes sense. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. When she comes and says, like, hey... Um, I know you should, uh, you should hate me, but still, you know, I just want to see you, see you all smile again, so, you know. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. I miss my mustard board cat. Where is she? Walk, walk here. <laughs> that was cute. Sadly, I can't I don't draw think get all. well is quite apropos. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I would love balloons. Like, I, I love balloons. But still get well. Mm. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Mm -hmm. Good, I could look that at That is Kate. so good to know that Kate is drawing again. We can sit in the chair. I guess she's saying something. It's amazing to just yeah. sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. Well, you changed this one certainly for the better. But whoever said we only have a single fate? True. Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. <laughs> Inception time. Although it's not really Inception, but you know what I mean. Like, like different, um, you know, different lines together, you know, different stories and different depths, different perspectives all together. And you have to, to overlook all of this and to keep it connected and to get how all of this is connected. Did that make sense? Not really. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. No. Let's talk about Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. <laughs> but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I mm. might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. I wasn't so nice to her this week either when I took a picture of her covered in paint. Uh, it was not a proud moment. We no. all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Uh, insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Well, I never feel comfortable, like but to be I still don't do about. stuff like if that. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. I can talk about her? I always want to talk to you. <laughs> we missed our tea session this week. <laughs> that was so not cool. 
We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. <laughs> Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. Uh. You know he likes you. So I've heard. <laughs> he asked me to go to the drive-in, but I turned him down. Oh, really? You guys would be a perfect couple. Kate Marsh, <laughs> matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. Aww. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Mm. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so... That might be a start. <laughs> you did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. Aww. So what is going on with him now? Ooh. That's good. That's I think good. his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. Yeah, there is. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues yeah. I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. Okay. I can't do this without you. Thank you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. <laughs> I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of my oh. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Oh, it's just too cute. Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Oh my god. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Okay, I guess that was everything in here. So, let's get to Chloe again. <laughs> well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Oh. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. <laughs> no, Principal Wells and Mr. Jefferson are talking. Stella is there in the background. That's Daniel, I guess. That's Mrs. Grant and Samuel. Dude, usually I really can never remember hey, names. Hey Max, how you doing? Oh, hi Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can nah. imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. Oh. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just. Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. Mm. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you <laughs> will. Dude. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. <laughs> Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't Chloe, be jealous come because on, Mark man. Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. <laughs> Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. 
Now that is a great plan. <laughs> Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Okay. Uh, I guess we can talk to him. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Then give him a hug. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are <laughs> the good, Max. Oh. Kate. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. Oh. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. Yeah. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I <laughs> like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. <laughs> by the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, he yeah, is. But he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Oh, that's good. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People mm. here push me into lockers, not dance floors. <laughs> uh, should he go to the party or not? Should he go? I mean, at one side, like, why not? But, hmm. Ah, come on, have fun. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Aww. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Yep. So long since I've seen you. Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the handicap access fund. <sighs> We're going to hell. So I hear. Mm, not really. I mean, we found out that you wanted to, had to clear have it for something else. No? Birds today. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Oh. I hope Max isn't pissed that Warren asked me to the drive-in. Brooke looks happy that she's going ape with Warren. <laughs> okay, I can't go in here. So, oh, what? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? A squirrel Paparazzi. Let's talk with them, huh? How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Do I? I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Mm. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Mm, that bird? What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. Oh. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman. And he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... They just cry. Now they just cry. They're not alone these days. 
I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Sam. Oh, Samuel the is only such thing an animal, calms such an animal lover. Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Aww. Aww. That's really cute. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. What about the More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. <laughs> what about Kate? I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so that's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Mm hmm. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. <laughs> you don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not but enough to help though. you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. David? Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. Mm. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. That's true. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Hey, Cliff. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. The storm. And Max, I don't like it at all. Mm. Rachel. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. I think she's alive. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. No. Sometimes. That's poetic. That's all we have left. But. Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Oh. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. <laughs> Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Okay, we talk to him. Get that food in your belly. <laughs> okay, we can't take a photo of the squirrel. Okay. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? 
Oh. Oh. Another photo. Nice. So let's talk to Mrs. Grant. Dude, there's so much talking here. Hello, Max. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Sure. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Oh, she has she has a peace symbol. Like a peace neck uh peace symbol necklace. Dude. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. <laughs> I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. True. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Erosion? Really? So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. <laughs> Unless you know something I don't. Time travel. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Well, it Would is you time really travel. change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. <laughs> Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. No, we are not. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. <laughs> and I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. Hmm. After what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you you might be the wisest. Oof. Okay. First off. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? <laughs> you did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Mm. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Nah. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, Aww. not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Yeah. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Yeah, at least for a week. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. Mm. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Well, I'm, I'm cynical. sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. Yep. It's always good talking to you, Max. Uh -huh. Samuel misses his squirrels. I hope <laughs> Max isn't pissed that Warren asked me to the drive. Hey, Brooke. No, no. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? 
Mm. Drone. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. Ooh. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. That sounds fun. It would be good for you and Warren to take a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car. Or an old new car. <laughs> so I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. That's also the thing like, hey, technically I could drive a car, but I haven't... I don't have any driving lessons, so yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> it's Chloe there. With Zach? Was it Zach? There's Daniel. The guy with the skateboard. Is this Warren? No, this can't be Warren, right? It doesn't look like that. Thanks. Oh. Back again, Brooke. Are you sure you're all right? I guess. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? I was distracted by Warren asking me out to the drive-in. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Yep. I did see him this morning heading but off campus. He, heading off. he looked more angry than usual. I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. Yeah, I don't want to. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. <laughs> We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Well, let's leave. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Yep. And this is Zachary. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. I guess it will be when the storm comes. What about him? Who is he? He's... Well, who knows who he is. No. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Mm. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Maybe they could be together? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, Ugh. suck. Now let's get into black Please, ninja man. mode. So lame, they don't have co ed dorms here. Yes, because no. I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. <laughs> Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Oh, it's in the boys' thing now, huh? Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were the given. The Vortex Club sucks ass. Evan rolls. Super Max, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Cage, you're so awesome, thank you. Love that you bring out the rebel in me. You're already a rebel, trust me. Always, and please, please be careful, promise. Of course, I'll keep you post posted. I know you will. Aww. So, 111, okay. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Safety first, look before you're lost. Always use protection and secure your future. Huh? Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. No, oh, okay. No, oh, even here. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Yeah, right. Bathroom, storm, think tank, welcome, black smell. Sit and shit. 
Bogovki, what, what is this? Freak the freak glory hole, please. Oh my God. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about Can I Bogovki. has art, bitch? Wow. Ah, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Daniel, man. What do they, why, why are they Zach pulling or him? Zach Logan. Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Bigfoot's got big balls. Ugh. What is wrong with the big balls stuff, please? Ugh, it's all good in the woods. In video games. I sense Hayden is near. <laughs> this can only be Nathan's room. The Prescott's rule this town. Ugh. This just makes me think of Kate. Don't be bullied. If you're the victim of bullying, you're not you are not alone. Come join a month as a port discussion group. Privacy guaranteed. Oh, you Bigfoots. Bigfoot stump. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh. Well, well that is. No. Why why what the fuck? Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. There is no, there is no unique picture of reality, Stephen Hawking. Poor Warren. This <sighs> is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. <laughs> Warning, beta thang alert. Meow. Okay. So let's go into Nathan's room. It's locked. Do I really? Okay. Should I not put this one back? I mean, we now just destroyed the door, the the handle. Here's a beamer in here, really. Oh my god. Now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. Choice. Max, not a date is not here. I need Chloe. Step up and stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in a little crap like breaking into Blackpool at night. No, it happens. It happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You give us such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but you can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, choice. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forgot you're still teenage adults. <laughs> Loma. It's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. 16th day of June 2006. Sean Prescott. Lol. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Six grand for, for, for a camera. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Cool couch, cool sofa with the speakers here. Although, why would you have this couch here when you have the beamer stuff here? You know, like, what? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. No. It's probably drugs. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> Jesus. Manual. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... No, don't say... Don't say it was a gift from David Manson. Instructions for you is important safeguards. GP-17 9mm pistol. Well, 9mm is just a usual caliber. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Yeah. These films all have a dark pattern. Dude, there's so many films, Jesus. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Ew, can I take it away? Uh, photos? Damn, Nathan, that's a nice shot. Only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Yeah, I mean it's dark as hell, but still looks kind of nice. I don't think one nice. book can guide the Prescotts. Ray John, a teen parent guide to anger management. Huh, but at least he's trying. I really hope they were all consenting models. 
Doof. Um. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Well, whale songs are actually really soothing. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh. Wait, what, really? Wait, what? Can I? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. I completely forgot. Nathan drugged her? Nathan really drugged her? In here and wait, did he try? Did he try to have sex with a drunk Chloe? Jesus. Um. Okay. That looks like a totally fun show. What an asshole. Even Nathan has a light side. Hmm. Yes, I would be cool with having this high tech projector. Yep, me too. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk. I'm going to tell everybody what you did. And you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Ew. What the? Are you fucking serious? That's fucked up. Dude. That's really fucked up. What the? But it seems like the, the, the... He has his phone with him. I mean, usually you always have your phone, like, in your pocket somewhere in your pants. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Nathan Price got the Victoria Chase. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as stylish and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious party favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. You roll. This has a similarity to Pornhub, what the fuck? I'm sorry, but you know. Vortex Club, October 2013, party hard, Kate's gone wild. Hey, look at this, down there is Kate kissing with another girl, which is just wasted. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Sean Prescott to Nathan Prescott, Nate. I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment at any time. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after this book tour, but for now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estate is being developed. I know being a press is a burden and I guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny. But do thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shit old town is going to get an anima along with a fresh brand. I wanted to be ready to take up on the moment it's right. Don't fuck it up, son, your father. Oh my God. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. She has a sister? Christine. Tudo Bam. From Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace course, course that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Peace Corps, really. She's in the Peace Corps? Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, 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 please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you in the pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father's been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love that, Nate, but I'm also in the jungle halfway across the world because of him. Oh, he's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Um, so that's why she's in Brazil, huh? Don't let him change her into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts, better write back. Or I'll have a Jaguar shit to your dorm. XOXOXO, Chris. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Exo means generic, extreme diet suppressant, available online without prescription. Exo means generic, pill boutique. 100 pills for 250 bucks. Wow. 
his ass much, Principal Wells. Principal Wells, the Nathan Prescott Nathan. I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name a blank wall. I know your father was upset, but I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want to distract you from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Ugh, goddammit. Principal Wells, really? Nathan is way too loud. Yeah. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. So, examine. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Oh, he moved the couch, the sofa. He moved it. So let's move it. Let's find out what you're hiding. Yeah. That's really oh, weird. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. To hide it there. Holy shit. Okay. Now I have oh. Nathan's phone, oh, really so weird. I can just remember. You're on enemy turf now, Max. I know, so let's leave. I just hope that Nathan doesn't come back. Chloe? Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Uh -oh. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. I have the feeling that Nathan will come in now. Yep. Oh, shit. What are you doing in my dorm? Uh -oh. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Uh oh. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh. 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 <gasps> You are so fucking dead! Uh, uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, he just took out his gun! Uh, stay out of it. I would say stop, Warren. I'm sorry. Warren, stop it! Come on! Yes, he deserves oh, it, but head. still. Uh, Take the gun. Why are you looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! He just has a gun now. with him. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Oh, really? No, no. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Let's leave him. I'm sorry. Let's just leave this guy. <sighs> Damn. That was intense. Yeah. Warren, uh, Thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. Yeah, but you're also anger in him. Like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. <laughs> or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. Oh, why not bring him with? Is find out anything you with, can about with them to, to to close house. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And it is. Thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, <laughs> you are. Born to the rescue, man. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. Oh. Uh -huh. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Mm -hmm. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Yeah. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's Good. not keep him waiting. Let's go to Frank. On the beach. <laughs> but these dead whales, don't they stink? Like, dead animals stink because they decompose. So, 
Do you really want to have your van right here? I mean, it's beautiful, but here, but with the whales. Mm. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me no. too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Mm. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. No. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hate you. Uh. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. No. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. Aww. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Yeah. Please, Chloe, don't fuck it up. Just hold your inner demon for one second. <laughs> Okay, so we can actually walk around here. Um, signposts. The forest seemed quiet. There's no sign of life. Or deer. Hello, Oregon Nature Lovers. Within these woods, you will find a var variety of animals, but that doesn't mean they're looking for you. Bears, snakes, coyotes, wolves can be very dangerous. Be careful. Do not feed any animals in the forest. Please stay on the trails and ask Ranger if you need guidance. Aww. Yeah, I will totally ask a ranger, just because he could tell me way more about that stuff. Although I guess I would need to pay him, but still, it would be cool. There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. Stop pan estates. Thanks, local industry. The shots of KDB are now un unfit for fish, birds, and even whales. It's time to stop the pan estates' development. It is leading to the destruction of jobs, lives, and resources. Join a peaceful protest at the pan estate HQ or headquarters. Media and families welcome. Noon, Saturday, October 12th. Well, I guess it won't come to that Saturday. Signpost. This is where my nightmare started. Hiking trail to the lighthouse, 15 minutes. Yep, up there. Easy trail is blue, hard trail is red, no camping, do not feed the animals. There is a whale. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. Yep. Would actually be kind of interesting to see like a dead whale on land. Even though, yes, it's sad, but it would just be interesting to see it, you know. Like, not that I would think that it's cool. I mean, it's not, obviously, but you know what I mean. No worries, sign. No parking on the beach. Well, he gives a shit. Aha, uh -huh, no parking on the beach. Uh -huh, on that beach. Okay. Help, keep the beach clean. Use the trash can. Trash can, yeah. Let's take a photo. This whale. Oof. Okay. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Yeah, it was here. Oh my god. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Well, it is. It will come. No swimming. Due to recent coastal events, the Cody Bay City Council has closed the beaches to any wading, surfing, or swimming. This is for the safety of both the marine life and the public. Violations will be subjected to a fine and or imprisonment. Holy shit. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. <laughs> Bottles. Ah, oh, Frank. Behold, please. Frank's beer garden. What an idiot. Dude, just don't, just don't throw glass away. Garbage. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Ugh. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Well, but to be honest, I can actually guess it would be pretty chill to sit here, watch the sunset over the over the Pacific Ocean, have a beer, listening to some music. You know, like... Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Could still be nice. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. 
True. Okay, well. So, oh, there's a dog bowl. Oh, fresh Pompidou. Meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's so cute. I mean, right now my dog is sleeping down here. Eh. Okay. Yeah, he's still sleeping. Okay. Chloe looks ready to rumble. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> it's a bit dark here today. It's cloudy. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. Yep. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Well, hello there. How are you, man? Uh, give... Give money. Yeah. I mean, that's why we stole it. <laughs> oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Oh, okay. Now, if you excuse me. No, 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 don't Frank, go. Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. Lady balls? No. Yes. I want to. Jesus, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Nah. You already did help or else. I'm sorry. You don't get it. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No. No, man. I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. No. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, Oof. you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Yep. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. <laughs> I I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please. Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. Why not? And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. No. We're only here to talk. He will, he's not. Nice. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Pompey is nice. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Yes. Pompey is cute. Gave dog a bone. Trying to kill. Dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. Yep. That's amazing. No, all right. It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like... Like slaves. No. That's how I came to own Pompadou. Yeah. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now. Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yeah. Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in the clubhouse? You know, Rachel, what are you hiding? Rachel's letter bracelet. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Yeah. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? 
When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. Aww. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Yep. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Come on, Frank. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. Yes! My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Oh. Good luck. See, I knew he was good. See, he, just, he has this hard out of shell, but in himself, he's softy. It's so cute. That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Yeah. Rachel See? must have seen something good in him. Yeah, like I said. He has a hard outer shell, but in the inside he's he's soft, he's nice. Oh well. That went miraculously well. I didn't think it would it would go that well. No, sorry. Um oh, I love the music. Chloe, I think like a man. Are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. Yep. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. True. Amen to that. <laughs> oh no, now it's now it's the clue stuff, right? I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank's clues, David's clues, Nathan's clues. Frank. Hi Max. Just wanted to see how how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. See what Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want to party. And good luck. Oh my god. Look, he's so nice. Imagine just Frank is nice. I knew it. Ah, Investigate. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues for each section. There's a specific number of clues to select. Oh, hell no. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Okay. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Yeah. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. Mm. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Yeah, we saw that one. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Mm. So, what happened to Rachel after this? Good she knows. dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. No. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. So it's this one, the book? Right? Plus that one. Yes, the game is on. Now, yep. talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Investigate. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. So who is Nathan? Rot. Okay. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Rot. Yeah. So this one had rot in Everybody it. in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. No. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Dark <laughs> Um, no, also not that one. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Yeah. Party supplies, no doubt. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. No. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Okay, so this one, that one, and that oh, one. Yes, these are okay. all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay, good. 
Now we have this one. Now David. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. No, this was from the car from uh, Chloe. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Mm. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Rachel avoids the dormitory, followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Rachel avoids the dormitory, followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Uh, of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Uh. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. No, that one? You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Mm. So I guess this one and this one and... What's that? No. And that one? Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Yeah, now it gets weird. Damn. I, I must have missed something. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Okay. And that's all she wrote. Okay. Ooh. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Yeah. Great. Oh now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Yeah, we need his license plates. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? It sounds for me like hmm. Twilight. Who does this car belong to? Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Okay, so it's this one. No, wait. It's that one? Yeah, with the broken light. What is this picture? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find out whose car this is. So, what is it? S, X, F, T, N, D, R. So, this will be that one. Why the hell are you following these people? Yep, another car David was tracking. Okay, so it's this one. Um, with Nathan. Oh, yes. yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. <sighs> Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Okay. So if this one's on there, now it's Nathan's clues. No, what? It's... Yes, it is Nathan. Okay. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? There's a lot of numbers in here. Yeah. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he yeah. do the same thing to Rachel at another party? If there I is a so. dark room, we better find it. Rachel in it's a good dark thing room. Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Yep. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disciplinary warning rep report, dear Mrs. and Mrs. Prescott, dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we got to inform you that Nathan Mazza has erupted various glasses over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. 
Due to a crude outburst in Miss, Mrs. Hoida's intro to literature class on Tuesday, on the 20th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the, for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond black possibility. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions. So we hope you will discuss the, this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Okay, so it's this one, it's this one, it's this one, and that one. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Yeah, but how do I know the code now? Let's start hacking. Okay. Five... Four, two. One, 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 one. But how many codes does it need? It needs four code. It needs four digits. Nine, five, three, five. Let's try it. Um, nine, five, three, five. Oops. Bad code. No. Is it one 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 one? Let's try this. Uh, one 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 one. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. True. So it's on here. Oh my god. Um. One nine nine five maybe. You locked it, dumbass. Enter P U K. Oh God, have I not done something wrong? Nathan, pussies can't fucking fight. You fuck up my dorm. Door, I kill you. Scholarship. Idiot. Dude, I have your phone. You know what? Let's look it up. Um, because then I can see afterwards what the code was. Um, so what is his code? Okay, one zero one one zero two nine which is his birthday it's the august like it's august which is the eighth month plus the number 29 okay yeah i would have never found that one out dude eight two nine yeah there we have it What's up? Need the G? Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Come down, bring it to me. Bring it. Step away, pigs on the beach. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got to party, twin. Got, got to party tonight. Home, on the way, load the bow. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls with a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. A call to give you the exact directions. In transit. Drug get the money out. Drama. You up, bro? No shit. What do you need? Peruvian flake. Skidoo acid. Your party. You're paying, nice princess. Don't make a wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes, don't come. God, Fuck off. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now, call myself tweaking soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. Well, I don't even feel weed at all. I feel no. Uh, how do you call it? Like, I don't feel anything. It's it's really weird. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your small mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Yep, it was no, Nathan. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Hey, whore. Asshole. Femi Nazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before. Being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get his things done on his own? Impress me. 
I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Oof. Well, bad father, bad son, huh? Oh no. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Yep. And I have no clue about that one. I really have to look this up. That was exactly the thing where I was stuck. For a really uh, for a really long ass time. I still remember this one. So I'm not going to do this. Middle paper in the first row. Wait, what? Uh, select the uh, first one with the middle paper in the first row. Okay, yep. So this one. What afterwards? Um, second the paper shown on the picture. Okay. So it's this one. Yeah. Yeah. And the third one. Second from the right side. Okay. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Because I couldn't find it out the nope. last time that nothing, I played Max. it. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Ooh. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. The press cards? Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Oh. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? No. Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Mm. That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Yep. Except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the <laughs> two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. No, I but like I could lose it. close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. Yeah. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Let's get to the barn. No trespassing. Holy shit, this is scary. Yeah. I know. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Good. Do I have to find the best way? Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Yep. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Look. Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Yeah. There's definitely something here. Warren. Um, thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going A, Peter's after beat down, but I don't want to stoop on his level. Besides, someone is going to kick his ass sooner, sooner than later. You wise grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly to hear what his town needs. You still pay your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool. Now I have to calm myself down. Okay, something here is under the car. Watch us. Meh. Yeah. Okay, she's trying to open the lock. No car. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. What is she saying? 
Yeah, the tracks. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Could be, but there's not a abandoned uh, house. That's a bird. Nice. Took that photo. Fish eye. Metal sheet. Okay, I could move this one. But I want to talk to Chloe first. Oh, I can Chloe look. is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Well, because she wants to be reunited with Rachel. And I guess that's the only reason why she's fearless. And also because she's a rebel, but, you know. Okay. We have opened the passage. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. You mean you found the back door? Oh, yes. Maximus rules. <laughs> Maximus. Ah, oh, these jokes about God, Max. this man. is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Blair Witch. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Mm. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrap. Bomb shelter? You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Is a bomb shelter down here? I mean, there is definitely something under this yes, bomb. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Chloe would make a great detective too. Yep, as do you, Max. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Ugh. Was this uh, Sean's father? This tractor has paid its dues. Pay my dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. You know, from Anastasia. You have I guess to the Prescotts song. were just born bastards. July 22nd, 1903. Martin Lewis Prescott, Prescott Ranch, Katie Bear, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden, I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt. A ten percent interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met at the end, if the day July twenty fourth, in the year of our Lord nine hundred and three, rest assured will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, Martin Lewis Prescott. Wow, assholes. Photo. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Yeah, <laughs> the flag of America. <laughs> Wait, it should have wow, only 48 sir. stars, Talk not 51 stars. On the range. Let's go about the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Yeah, uh, 50 stars. What the fuck, 51 stars, dude. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Hmm. But I guess we need to activate it somehow. Pitchfork. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Mm. Yeah, but you can only stab with it and not cut with it. Search. Just rotting wood. Okay. There's a hook. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> Round. Old. Old. Still nothing. Haystack. So many haystacks. So few needles. So many haystacks. Okay. So few needles. Search it here. Uh oh. Do we find something? No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Whoa. Oh shit. What is this? It's totally brand new. 
Why? Guess this is the bunker. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Um, we have here a crate. Ah, oh, the good old days. Eggs, bacon, sugar, coffee, cocaine, tobacco, milk. Pollard's Market. Okay, the Bay. Uh, I already looked at this one. We have to get on top of this platform. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Yeah, lift her up. Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. Yeah. I dig having minions. Okay, so what can I do up here now? Um, oh, pull. Okay. That, uh. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Okay. Let's get on top of that. Dude, but this is no bar and you have to watch out. So, what can I do up here? Okay, I can pull on here, yes. But is there something else up here? There's an owl. Aw. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, owl. So, um, it is connected to this one. Yeah. Okay. Here's the other end of the rope. Yeah. So let's pull on it. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Oh, right. So this one? Yep. Okay. Yep, we can attach this one. Do I still have the photo of the owl? Yep, I still have it, okay. So... Let's pull it down. Let it crash in the... And then we can open it. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Max Giver strikes again. Up. No, I just need to go down. Mm -hmm. Nice. Chloe? Oh, I can't even. Okay. Good. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Yeah, it was pretty small. Let's open it. Oh boy. Damn, this is heavy. Yep. What is this? This is so fucking suspicious. Do I even need to say how weird this is? Oh yes. He just did. Who built this kind of place? Oh, I don't know. The Prescott, of course. Let's go in here. This bunker ah. is so surreal. No. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Mm -hmm. First a padlock, then a digi code. Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh God. Wait, Nathan. Uh, five four. Wait, was it? Was it two four seven? Two four seven. Wrong code. No. Five four seven? Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh god damn it. What was the code? Um Uh 
it was 5 4 2. Ah, it was not 5 4 7, it was 5 4 2. God damn it. Okay, but yeah, it was on yes. Nathan's uh, the I red that thing. Only worked in the movies. You know, the red thing, he wrote it in red uh, font. Open sesame. Oh, fucking damn. There are some drugs. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Oh no. I guess this is the dark room. Rachel in the dark room, so she was here. Now what the hell is this? Oh no. Oh no, yes, yes. No, Rachel... Rachel was kidnapped. And I mean Nathan had like had like this weird stuff where he like he took photos of like people that are you know like half unconscious and and also like like drugged and dark. So I guess he did something to Rachel, Nathan. Nathan he did something to Rachel, he kidnapped her here. Oh my god. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. This is the dark room. More survivalist supplies. And it also makes sense, to be honest, because, um, you know, dark room photography. As I explained earlier, the dark room is where you have, like, these pictures. Jesus and then you put them into the water and then you dry them. It makes sense. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it isn't David. Whoa. Wilson. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist over five, four or five years, I feel that I should stop seeing his son as you have disregarded my father, di my rather dire and immediate suggestion for his another's well being. Bye. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that he refused to acknowledge the role you play in this in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he has become even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my requests for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan. I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I'm always available. Best Dr. Jacoby. Sorry, I almost had a hiccup. Look at all this weird shit. Um, I mean, everything points now to Nathan, but after feeling like Nathan is too young to have all of this, you know, like he's too young. Yeah, he's too young to have all of this, to have, to have built all of this Keep with with money. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh no, doctor. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Yeah, this is fucking sick. Photo printer? Oh no. No. Wait, is this Rachel? You. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. I still don't think it's Nathan. That's fucked up. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. No needle strokes. Oh no. No, 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 no. And the other, the, the files. The red files. Oh god, papers. Oh, that son of a bitch. Howard, Howard Rourke construction. Stormbreaker bunker, full estimate 1,350,650. Contract signature, Sean Prescott. Gets weirder and weirder. Talk about tortured. Yeah. Dude, your mind is fucked up. Oh, look at all this weird shit. Yeah, I know. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. Stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my last wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. Or you're on your own. Letter. 
Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, Principal West has informed me that you have been suspended due to, due to some suspected what's club activity on your part. Never mind that. Just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things which I'll not mention. But nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son and I want us to fulfill our destiny. The day is coming sooner than you think, so we're prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning, Sean Prescott. I don't want to. Should I go to the. Yeah, go. Let's see what's in here. No, okay. It's... Oh my god. Yeah. No. Well, someone is clearly fucked up. He just, um. Nathan drugged. Maybe Nathan is only the career. You know what I mean? Like, like maybe Nathan is just the one that that um, kidnaps and drugs the people, but another person is taking photographs of them. And we see when we saw that this happened to many, many people. Um, but yeah, that's Kate. Oh my God! But we can't use. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, I know. Oh my God. <laughs> No. No. Cardboard. Oh, oh my god, there are so many people. Oh, um, oh, yep, Rachel. Rachel is there. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We uh, are. Victoria? Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, yeah. I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those yeah. binders are filled with other victims. Oh my god. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. No. This can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Oh, that's a great. Right? Chloe, look That's at her a grave. face. She's That's a grave down there on the right maybe, side. Maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do but this. But it was she another body. Would have. I don't is this Nathan? So. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. No, she I didn't. Know it. Please, No, she, did, she, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. I can tell you. She didn't. She was fucking drugged. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This place actually feels evil. Yeah. I mean, it really looks like this. Oh my god. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. That's fucked up, man. That's really fucked up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Rachel. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Yeah. She is indeed very furious. My god. No, no, no. Man. Rachel has passed out. And she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? Does she have something in her mouth? I don't see. This it. shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. That's Nathan. That's Nathan there. And Rachel. So this picture must be brand new because we saw Nathan in his, uh, in his dorm. So this picture must be really new. That doesn't make really sense. I mean, is Rachel here dead? I mean, it does seem like it. Why else would it be on the junkyard? But then, Rachel was gone missing since six months. So, that doesn't really make sense because Nathan is still alive. So why would Nathan just pose under a dead Rachel? You know what I mean? Like... Or was Rachel kidnapped here for six months and well and then she died finally after six months of torture and and I don't know Nathan 
got killed too. Because maybe he knew too much. So I really guess it's not Nathan. He can't be Nathan. This picture is framed different. Rachel, yeah, yeah. this shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. I really have the feeling that Rachel is dead. I feel so sorry for Rachel, man, because like everyone said, she was, she was a party girl. She was, she was, she was cool. She was, she was intelligent. She was wise. I mean, well, yeah, she got together with Frank. She probably had something to do with others, also with Nathan. Oh, maybe that's why Nathan this is. This picture is framed. Right maybe the that's why is so Nathan staged. is laying below of the dead body I, of Rachel. I can't believe it's real. I can't. Maybe that's why. Because he loved her. But she was always there for Frank, I guess. If pictures could talk, I would really know what she thought back then. When this happened. But yeah, I'm feeling so sorry for her. I mean, she was, what, 19 or something like that? And she got killed? Just because she was the nicest girl at Blackwell? Really? This is some ex- oh no. No, I know who it is. I know who it is. Look at- look, look at the camera. Who has such cameras? Only one dude has it at school. It's fucking Mr. Jefferson. It has to be Mr. Jefferson. It has to be. It really has to be Mr. Jefferson. This camera is the same camera that he had in his room on his uh, desk. It was the same fucking camera. It's fucking Mr. Jefferson. Then probably Nathan was just his career. If Chloe did recognize a spot in the junkyard, then I better go with her and just get ready for the worst. Ah, the apocalypse entertainment system. Yeah, this really... It's Jefferson. It's fucking Jefferson. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. No. Yeah. And probably he 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 told Nathan that um, that his father should pay it. That he has n that he has to pay nothing. Dude. Imagine how fucked up this is, Mr. Jefferson and and Nathan, just chill here and there you have the drugged victim. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Rachel Amber officially confirmed missing. Search continues for, search continues for popular Blackwell student. Blackwell student saved from rooftop suicide. Somebody likes their whiskey. But then why didn't... Why didn't Mr. Jefferson or Nathan kill Kate? Because that was really lucky. I mean, she got out somehow again. So on the party she was drunk and then taken there and then she was going into the hospital. And she still remembered that it was Nathan who was taking her there. But that was really fucked up. I mean, imagine she would have she would she would have um, remembered the stuff. Then their cover would have been blown. Needles, drugs, yeah of course. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Could be, uh Needles. But Frank doesn't know anything about this. Gross. So who's using this fancy tripod? It's Jefferson. Who else? This stupid little idiot. And to be honest, it's not even that um, surprising. I mean, he is addicted by photography. He is addicted by photography. Nothing unlike Nathan. I mean, Nathan, yes, he's a more or less good photographer, but not like uh, not like Mr. Jefferson. And, I mean, usually these uh, serial killers or these fucked up minds are usually the people that are, well, the most pleasant people, you know. They are really nice, they are, they are like, f they are friends with everyone, they get along uh, well with everyone, they are just really nice persons. But in the end, they are the people that have stuff like this in their fucked up mind. So it's Jefferson. Jefferson and Nathan. 
There might be more clues around here, but I have to get back to Chloe's. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Imagine how, how scared Rachel was. How frightened, how angry, how lonely. And I guess she was probably frightened, frightened for death. I mean, okay, I Rachel mean, is packed. This shot is so she dies afterwards, but... I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. And also, I'm feeling really sorry for Chloe. Because she thought, like, you know, she found out, hey, she was, she was banging with Frank, and she had something with Nathan. Maybe she even had something with Mr. Jefferson. I mean, Victoria has something with Mr. Jefferson. Chloe likes Mr. Jefferson. So maybe even Rachel. But then it would be even more fucked up. Like, imagine Rachel has some sort of relationship, or had some sort of relationship with Jefferson, and then maybe she found out, uh, maybe she found out too much about all of this. You know, maybe she found out what he he really is, what he really is doing. You know, with all of that stuff. Yeah, maybe she had two relationships with um, with uh, Frank that we know of. And then maybe with Jefferson, and also with Nathan, maybe a little bit. But yeah, I mean, maybe Mr. Jefferson and Nathan just continued this stuff. And then Rachel found out, and then Jefferson just took her down here and took some pictures of her. I mean, imagine. Imagine you love a person, and then you find out about this, that they are, like, sick fuckers. And then they... Put you into the into the same position as the victims like imagine imagine the fear and the trust you've put into these people and they're just going to drug you take pictures of you and kill you jesus fucking christ no 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 it's fucked up so let's go to the junkyard. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, no. We're going to see it at Rage aren't we? Oh. where the dough was look this is it this is it the dough the 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 the, the deer Are you it gonna was her Max? it was rachel it was the ghost of rachel chloe stop look please no oh, oh the okay. smell rachel oh. God, I'm feeling so sorry for you, Chloe, man. Chloe. She's dead. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Dude, Chloe loses so much. She loses her father. She loses Max for the majority. She loses Rachel. That's not fair, man. That's really not fair. Uh. Yep, that's Rachel's ghost. Oh my god. The dough.
the last episode, I guess. Oh, is it still going further? Oh, the episode hasn't ended. Still goes on, I guess. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? That's I'm with music. you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Yeah, they're now in serious uh, stuff in here now. Max and Chloe. Watch out, Chloe. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't mean? tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Two Beautiful. moons? I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Two moons. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm Warren glad is a bit you drunk. Me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to okay. have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know. I Dude, know. people are that drunk, Jesus. Dude, Just control one picture. Yourself, man. Uh, action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. Mm. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. You okay. won't. I know how to be invisible here. <laughs> not not anymore. when you're drunk. Text soon. Hold oh, on. He's really wasted. Hi, can I take your coat or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, okay well, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate to well, take all these clothes. I can you please be silent? I want to, to talk, okay? So, anyways, um, I guess that was it for today. So, we now know Nathan is definitely in it. Nathan Prescott. And also, with a high chance, Mr. Jefferson, who is also here on this party. And their next victim will be Victoria, who was, as you could see, very fond of Mr. Jefferson I means she wanted to go with him to Los Angeles. No, was it San Francisco? Yeah, San Francisco. We have to like some time together. So, I mean, of course, he would choose a victim like this. We also know that Rachel Amber is dead. That poor girl. Um, actually, I'm, um... I'm getting some uh, some more clues when I rewatch the earlier episode so that I can like prove my assumptions that Mr. Jefferson is the true mastermind behind this. Um, because I still remember this one quote he said in the beginning like like I could frame you in a dark room perfectly. 
or something like that like in the very first scene in the game so yeah anyways i hope you enjoyed it even if it sounds really weird because this is about some serious fucked up murder right here but yeah still if you enjoyed it and you're seeing this please consider subscribing uh, uh subscribing yeah right please consider following i would greatly appreciate it like um i'm trying to get to 50 followers and to three viewers per stream so that i can be an affiliate um yeah what else um social media is linked down below also youtube channel for um past stream highlights in better quality than on twitch also my own discord server if you want to join me there and yeah that was it for this afternoon like i said hope you enjoyed it get something nice to eat have a nice dinner have a nice evening and well yeah this evening overwatch don't know what i will be what i will be doing there exactly but yeah i'll watch stream this evening and we'll be glad to see you again there until then ciao ciao